were rescued early this morning after the bus they were traveling in was swept away by floods. All the 14 occupants were rescued. Michael Ayabe uh, will be joining us later on from the Red Cross, but live pictures, or pictures there rather, are uh, still pictures of what uh, took place there uh, early this morning. A bus was uh, swept away uh, by a river that was uh, flooded. The rescue operations at the Kalimo Rock along the Kitale Lodwa Highway, uh, with the, the bus, was, the highway rather, was seriously damaged by increased water volume. Uh, the Kenya Red Cross teams and its paramedics responded to the emergency call together with police and other local partners and were able to rescue all the passengers from the Eldoret Express bus that had been swept away by water. All the passengers, 14 adults and four children, have been rescued. One female passenger who is said to have suffered internal injuries uh, was referred to the Lordua County Hospital uh, by the Kenya Red Cross Ambulance. The total number of survivors from that bus managing um, 14 adults and four children assisted by the rescue team. So this comes in the wake of... Uh, an alert by the Kenya Red Cross that uh, there would be heavy rains in parts of the country uh, for the better part of this week, uh, with motorists and members of the public being warned to take caution and avoid places with rivers and roads that may cause flooding and uh, drowning. And the heavy rains are expected to last until Sunday in central, several parts of the country. Let's speak to Michael Ayabe from the Kenya Red Cross, joining us by a uh, way of phone. Michael, what more information can you tell us on this incident this morning? Well, thank you. Um, I, we, the, the, the situation, I would say, as of now, has been, uh, man, it has been brought to control, and we have almost closed in the operation, um, with the numbers uh, earlier on mentioned that uh, the team was able to rescue the 14 adults, 14, uh, four children, and earlier on, uh, we also have information about, of course, the people who are able to get immediate assistance from the community and the people, um, you know, themselves. So about 26 of them bringing the number to a total of 44. All right. Um, so Go ahead. I think that would be the situation. But then also there was um, a phone uh, during the bit of confirming who has been injured and what extent. Then one lady who had uh, in, that, in some internal injuries uh, had to be uh, taken to Lodwa Referral Hospital where she will get uh, adi um, more medication. All right, uh, Michael, this is uh, definitely a result of uh, heavy rains in the area, which had been initially announced by the Met Department. How severe is the situation there? Well, as you can see, this is actually um, in addition to the fact that yesterday, uh, early afternoon, we had um, the you know, breaking of the bridge at Kainuk, which is cutting off a section of that road. And now we are having these seasonal rivers uh, suddenly flowing. And therefore, we actually would urge motorists to be careful as they approach uh, this, this um, seasonal river, because often they would flood uh, without much warning and they are likely to lead to damages and, and even fatalities if not taken care. Next. All right, uh, thank you. That is uh, Michael Ayabe from uh, the Kenya Red Cross. Just a little more information there from that uh, bus along uh, the uh, Turkana Road there. Dozens of passengers uh, had been rescued from a bus that had been swept away at uh, Kalimo Rock along the Kitale Lodwa Highway following heavy rains this morning that have pounded the area. Uh, just once again, the affected bus there belonging to the Eldred Express Bus Service Company, which was on its way to Lokichar when the driver tried to cross a flooded seasonal river at uh, Kalimo Rock just um, before Lord were there getting marooned by the water. Uh, the Kenya Red Cross coming to the aid of uh, passengers there. Uh, the area county commissioner, the Kenya Red Cross, as well as local residents coming together uh, to rescue 14 adults and four children uh, who were in that bus. Information that uh, we are getting this morning. Just a quick reminder of the top story we're following this hour that is reports that a chopper has crashed this morning into the Lake Nakuru. The chopper had just taken off from a nearby hotel at about five minutes past.